Hero, one month, pros and cons, let's go. What's up, Wagme fam? It's Crypto Addict, and we're officially one month into Hero. For those not aware, Hero is a trading card platform that sells digital and physical cards utilizing the blockchain technology and is available online and in retail stores such as Walmart and Amazon. The Hero team has been taking the NFT and physical space by storm. In just one month, they now have over 9k Twitter followers and have people around the US visiting Walmarts and doing things they never thought they'd do. But is Hero here for the long term? Or is it too late to get into Hero? Let's dive a little deeper into this. Now if you were here early, or if you were subscribed to Wagme and watched our video regarding Hero, you would have been in the lucky bunch that was able to purchase not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. But however many packs you wanted. They were available on their website for US customers and on Zavi for UK. They did sell out within a week, however. While everyone else waits for Zavi to sell more of their retail stock or for listings to appear on Amazon and Walmart, Hero also released their first digital drop. The digital drop had a whitelist and a public sale shortly following the whitelist. You had to get an invite email before you were able to purchase the digital pack, which was $50 and had a maximum of 10 packs that you were able to purchase. The pack sold out within 10 minutes of the public sale and they were recently back in the marketplace for as high as about $800 and are currently listed for $650. Unfortunately, some people did have errors when they tried and got like a 404 page and were not able to purchase digital packs as they quickly sold out. For their first launch, however, I think it went fairly smooth, which is a big plus for someone entering a space with as much momentum and hype as Hero is currently. I also like how the team is very responsive. As far as like feedbacks or fixing any type of issues, they're extremely quick at making changes and patches to their site or app. If you look at the website now, we have this live feed showing who lists their cards or who's opening packs live. This was not available when the website initially launched. They've also updated their app to allow you to see who's following you. They updated their search filters to allow you to sort by like digital or hybrids and they've made like UI updates and filters for like their leaderboards. They've also included perks on Discord for like certain roles you select. And there's even a live feed on the Discord that shows you who's pulling what cards from their packs and pretty much lets you decide if it's worth that $50 you spent or in some cases the 650 bucks you spent on a pack. Another great thing about Hero is they're powered by collects which appears to have an amazing dev team already familiar with the space. This kind of allowed for like quick interoperability between listing your cards on their in-app marketplace or sending it to like IMX and selling it on their gas-free platform. You also have the option to transfer it to layer one Ethereum in order to list on like OpenSea or to put it on your Twitter profile like me. Go ahead and give me a follow guys. Cash out is also available. You will need a KYC if you wish to do so within the web platform. KYC, however, is not required if you're going to just send your NFT to like IMX or to the layer one platform. The platform just feels very polished and smooth and very feature rich, but not overwhelming at the same time. I personally feel everything the team has been doing has been very well thought out. You can clearly see that they do monitor what other projects are doing and use that to better their platform. No platform is perfect, however, and even Hero has had their early hiccups. Like I wasn't feeling the early releases that they had at Walmart, which kind of defeated the purpose of the pre-sale. I mean, the, the Walmart hunting was fun, but definitely not fair because this gave people that weren't able to find packs in Walmart a big advantage because they can list the cards that they actually opened onto the marketplace before the entire supply hits the market. 
Listings on Amazon are also available to just about any reseller. Hero needs to get a hold of like Amazon in order to restrict which users are able to sell their brand without their approval. This is already done by a lot of giant brands like Nike or HP where sellers have to prove that they're authorized by that brand to actually sell their products on the Amazon platform. Um, otherwise, they would have to purchase like their own UPC and sell it as their own brand, but it wouldn't be tied to the official Hero brand listing. So if Hero decides to restrict their listings or products on Amazon, that is something to look into and, or something for buyers to be aware of when you're selecting what buyer you're buying your cards from. The Walmart release may have been a blessing in disguise as well. As people began opening packs, it appeared many cards had misprints. And this caused Hero to kind of shut down their scanning option, taking away that leverage the flippers did have for getting their packs from Walmart early, as well as allowing them to act before all packs were actually shipped out. So though misprints and like blank white cards are an issue, they do happen to trading cards all the time. And Due to the scarce number of actual misprints that may have occurred, this can in the long term increase the value of these misprints that you may have gotten. My overall experience with Hero has been awesome. Their first month has been very impressive and they have already made major strides to improve their experience. They're quick and responsive with a great IP. I can see Hero going a long way. With all they've accomplished in just a month, I think we're still too early and far from being too late. Only 600 unique owners is a massively small scale, which has me excited to see what this project can be in like the very near future. I've always thought it was crazy how kids are watching YouTubers open like boxes of like toys Yet here I am not only watching fellow YouTubers open packs on YouTube, but I'm doing it myself. I feel like I'm back in like the 90s with Hero and it's been so much fun. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But thanks for tuning in, guys. As the booster boxes arrive, you can expect more unboxing and giveaways on the channel. I will be selling physicals with digitals. I created a website to list my collection. It's going to be shopwagme.net. If you find anything you are interested in to trade or to buy, send me a message on Twitter. It's going to be at Crypto Addict and we can work something out. But go ahead, follow, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm Crypto Addict and we're all going to make it.